I'm delighted to be able to be with you uh, tonight and to hear uh, this brief report that came from our chairman of our uh, alumni association, Mr. Chaudhry Ahmed Said, who has been such a support and friend to our institution. Honorable, distinguished guests, the alumni board president, alumni, members of the FCC board and chairman of the FCC board, administration and faculty and staff, I want to take a few minutes to thank you for your warm welcome and for this opportunity to give a brief report on your college and your university. I am honored by your trust and inspired by your dedication to the cause of higher education in Pakistan. Thank you for welcoming me into your community and thank you for the hospitality so many of you have extended to my wife, Beth, and me in the brief one and a half years that we have been here. At Foreman Christian College, we have a rich history of a great institution that has served the nation of Pakistan. And already this evening, we have heard some indications of just how great that is. As I mentioned in my convocation address in December, in our recent history, we have gone through three difficult decades of nationalization, but most recently, a decade of great progress under the leadership of Dr. Peter Armacost, bringing hope and rising expectations. And those of us who are gathered here tonight are the beneficiaries of this change, and we are now also the ones on whose shoulders the future of this great institution rests. Allow me to summarize some aspects of the wonderful things taking place at Foreman today. In the fall of 2012, our enrollment stood at 6,322. The intermediate program accounted for 3,100. Many of you who are alumni are graduates from our intermediate program. And this is the first time most of these young boys have been out of the home. And it is an important responsibility that we have, not just to impart knowledge, but also to help these young people move into adulthood as ethical and responsible citizens of Pakistan. <clears throat> I believe we have one of the very best faculties in all of Pakistan, from senior world-renowned professors to young recently qualified lecturers who are improving their credentials while at the same time vigorously engaging in teaching to the very best of their abilities. What is more, the quality and qualifications of our faculty are improving from year to year. My vision for the future is also to continue improving faculty through our excellent existing in-service center for learning and teaching and continuing to encourage research and publication, providing opportunities to participate in international and national professional conferences, attracting more faculty and enhancing qualifications to further increase our number of PhDs and continuing to hire world-renowned scholars. Research is the lifeblood of the university, giving depth to its teaching and helping us retain the very best faculty. Thus, I would like to see, like to continue to slowly expand our MPhil programs while at the same time moving carefully into one or two PhD programs. Already, I have mentioned such examples, but perhaps an 80 to 20 percent ratio of baccalaureate to postgraduate would be an appropriate long-term goal. And finally, <clears throat> revenue earned at the college should match our operating expenses. By introducing different programs, particularly in the evenings, we can increase our revenue to match those expenses. Fundraising can then be used for program enhancement, capital projects, and for those important scholarships that I've mentioned. You who are our alumni can do much to help us. Already I've mentioned your generosity in providing scholarship aid to our students. But the alumni board is working with the alumni office to coordinate help for the university in areas other than fundraising. You can help us recruit the very best qualified students to continue to improve the merit of our incoming freshmen. 
There will be opportunities for chapter leaders to meet and better understand our admissions processes so they can make recommendations and help our recruitment efforts to get the very best students. Our manager for alumni affairs has introduced a mentorship program where a number of you have signed up to mentor our graduating seniors, our graduating students. Coupled with this is our desire to help our students find good jobs. References from you can help our graduating seniors enormously. Different ones of you have participated in advisory groups to our various departments and administrative functions. Most recently, there was a very helpful advisory group for our career services department in which a newly elected member to the alumni board participated most helpfully. And that is just one of many examples. And next year we will be celebrating our 150th anniversary as an institution. Your input and activity will help our name be recognized all over Pakistan. Let me end on a personal note. Many of you have told me that being able to speak Urdu is a huge advantage. But there are 180 million people in Pakistan, most of whom speak Urdu better than I do. We all know it takes more than Urdu to do this job. I will work hard, but I also invite each and every one of you to join me. Let us work and grow this institution together. Thank you. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. I am a former knight. Uh, you will always find me saying this. I am a former knight because I would like to sponsor uh, this college, this university, and as my brother has said that he wants to take this to great heights. Uh, I have to follow him and follow him. Inshallah, I will. Uh, because uh, whenever I make up my mind in doing something, I do follow it all the way. And uh, this is one task which I have taken uh, this evening. And I can assure the house out here, the, the former Knights, uh, people senior to me, junior to me, they would always remember that in year 2013, Ahmed Mukhtar made a commitment and this commitment will be fulfilled. Uh, I, I am really obliged and I feel privileged that I have been called on the dais to say a few words and uh, I tell you that the most difficult thing to do is in a speech to stand in front of your own relatives on your own seniors uh, and then you say a few words out there this is one of the most difficult thing which one can uh, face in a, uh, in a convocation or in a degree or in a university I would like to thank uh, everybody I would like to thank uh, the rector, I would like to thank Chaudhry Ahmed Zaisab, who is my elder brother, and uh, Shaukat Tareen, a friend and a banker and uh, a politician and a colleague, and likewise uh, uh, so many senior people who are sitting out here. Uh, they, are, they are all actually kind of a guidance for us that we must follow them. Uh, Shirazi Sahib is here and uh, he is a living example for us and we have seen him grow and we wish him uh, I, we wish him that he will grow much faster his children will also benefit from that and so will Pakistan with these few words I would say thank you very much former Knights I am proud to be a former Knight thank you I want to thank all the alumni who are present here today and those who had wished they had been alumni of FC College. I know it is customary to speak in English at this occasion, but I wrote a little poem for FC College. I'm not a poet, but bear me out, this is in Urdu. بہت سال گزرے بے نوری میں منور کر دیا تو نے رات کو کمر جیسے This is the time before this college was denationalized When this was 
دا اوریجنل کالج اس میں خانے کے ماجرے کیا کہیے مدھوشی میں تھا پہلے کم بشر سیسے اس میں خانے کے ماجرے کیا کہیے مدھوشی میں تھا پہلے کم بشر جیسے ممنون ہوں اس خانہ تعلیم کا ممنون ہوں اس خانہ تعلیم کا علم بنا موسا اور روما میں صبر جیسے سیکھا ہنر اور علم الہی یہاں ہم نے جو رہا رہبر ہمارا سینہ میں عبر جیسے لاکھوں سال لگے کارخانہ قدرت کو لیکن لالو جواہر تیرے ہیں قابل فخر جیسے لالو جواہر that FC college has produced now when I was in United States of America I used to come back and forth to see what FC college is doing under the nationalization period and here are a few lines for that اٹھتا ہوں امیدوں سے ہر صبح اٹھتا ہوں امیدوں سے ہر صبح آ گئی ہو تمہاری خبر جیسے پیار کی منزل میں فاصلے نہ دیکھ پیار کی منزل میں فاصلے نہ دیکھ سوزے عشق اور خون جگر ہیں سمر جیسے اس ہجر و وصل اس ہجر و وصل میں ہے کیا فرق جب دوری میں قربت زہر جیسے and then when this college was denationalized اندھیری رات آخر ختم ہوئی دوست اندھیری رات ختم ہوئی دوست کمر باندھ روشنی آئی ہے سہر جیسے گئے دن تنہائی کے چمن کی جست جو میں گئے دن تنہائی کے چمن کی جست جو میں بن گئے ہیں خار و گل ہم سفر جیسے and the last two میں تو جا رہا ہوں سوشیلہ مگر سوشیلہ was the name of my dear wife تم رہو گی یہاں ایف سی کالج کا کمر جیسے اور آخری شیر عرض ہے رہتا ہوں منتظر منظور the word منظور comes from the basic word نظر رہتا ہوں منتظر تیرے نظارے کا میں تا ہمیش تو میرا منظور نظر جیسے Thank you very much.